So today I want to take a look at how we can compare strings in uh, C, right? And the mechanism behind all this. First things first, we need two strings. So I've defined here two of them. And then we need a function. That function is called strcmp. And that stands for string compare, right? This function is also found in another library that is not included here. So we have to include it. So pound include string.h. You will find that there are many actual, many really helpful functions for uh, string related operations in this library. So go give it a Google and you're going to find a lot of information about it. Um, anyway, so we have C strcmp and to use it, you have to give it uh, two char pointers basically. So two strings in this case. So we're going to give it str1 and str2 in our case. And we want to also print the result. So the result is actually an int. It's not just a boolean that says true or false. So we have to say percent %d backslash n and then strcmp. All right, and if we, if, if we run this, you will notice that we get one here. Now, why do we get one? Well, the definition of this function says that, oh, return zero if both of the strings are equal, are exactly the same. So in fact, if I change this to one, you'll notice that we get actually zero here. Well, how does it return one if we have here a, b, c, d, four? Let's, uh, let's see, right? So we have one here. Um, Basically, strcmp, how, how does it work is, it starts at the first character and compares it with the other first character, right? If they're equal, it's gonna go further, right? So A is equal to A, B is equal to B, C is equal to C, and D is equal to D. But then it comes at four and one. Since four is actually higher than one, we can actually take a look at the ASCII table for this. So here I have an ASCII table, and if we find not the four and one decimal, but for, but the four and one character, right? So if we have here one, which is 49 in va its value is 49 behind the scenes and four its value is 52, right? And 52 is higher than 49, right? Four, th therefore four is higher than one as a character, which means that the C str CMP is going to return one. Why? Because the first string or the first different character between these two is actually higher in the first string. Now what, what's gonna happen if I revert these two? So if I say ABCD1 on the str1 and ABCD4 here. Let's take a look. So if I try to run this, you'll notice we get minus one. That's because the first different character between these two is actually higher on the second string passed to the function, right? That's how strcmp works. Now, another thing I want to take a look in this video is actually more ways you can compare uh, really data in C. So uh, first things first, let's take a look at str and CMP, right? str and CMP is just, you just have an N here. And this might be familiar to you because uh, there are also other functions that have N after the str keyword, right? And what this means is that you can give it a third parameter it's an uh, size t and that parameter says or tells the str and cmp function how many characters it, it should actually compare so if i give it for example here if i give it five right and i run this we would get the same result as before right minus one the second string is now has the uh four characters so it's higher than the first one right but what, what's gonna happen if I give it four? Well, simple enough. It's just going to compare the first four characters of both strings and it's gonna give it a the value of zero because both of them up until the fourth character is actually are, are actually equal, right? Now another function that is used to compare not strings but really anything in general is called memcmp. So if I replace this with mem, we can actually use this as it is. So we can, if we try to run this, you will notice that we get a zero. And if I give it here a five, we'll get a minus one. So it works basically the same way as str and cmp. The only difference is that it doesn't stop at the null character. 
Now, why is this mem CMP useful? Because if you take a look at its signature here, down here, uh, you can see that it actually takes in a void pointer, which means you can pass it anything. Uh, whereas with str cmp and str and cmp if we try to get that uh, you'll notice that we get a char star right so you have to have a uh, char pointer let's try to use this right uh, let's let's uh, create two arrays of whatever int or short or whatever and let's try and compare them all right so here i created two arrays right one array is one two three and the one is one two four so they are clearly different, but okay. But how how does memcmp work in this case? So if I run this, what what's gonna happen? Well, unfortunately, we're we'll get a zero here. But why is that? Well, that's actually because of this number here. So this number uh, actually is in bytes, right? So we have uh, we, we are telling memcmp to compare these two these two arrays, right? They are they are of int type, but up until the fifth byte, right? So we're just compared the we're just comparing the f the first five bytes of the of both arrays, and as you might know, integers are actually on four bytes, right? So in this case, our first array and the second array they are both of the same size. They actually have four times three bytes in uh, memory that's how much they occupy right so because of that we have to tell memcmp to compare the first well 12 bytes well sure we can just type in here 12 that's fine i guess and if we run this you'll get right it's minus one because the second one is higher right so we have here four instead of three and that's that's why we get minus one um, but you can do better than that. You can also tell it instead of 12, you can tell it a size of, um, R1 in this case, and you can just run uh, this and we would get the same result. Size of R1 in this case is valid because this is actually an array. If it was a pointer, you would have to do size of int times, uh, three in this case. That, that's also, that's also going to work, right? So this, this memcmp usually works um, for arrays or entities of the same size. All right, so that's, that's about it. I wanted to talk about this uh, strcmp. I'm sure you've heard about it before, but uh, memcmp, not so much. And I hope it will help you in future endeavors. All right, so thanks for watching and see you guys next time.